Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you how to um, use multiple iTunes libraries. It's very useful in case you have like a hard drive or an external that you don't want um, certain content on there. Like if you download a lot of podcasts that are just taking up space on your main hard drive and you only really select them every once in a while, um, it's very useful. So what you need to do, you need to have iTunes closed first off. As you can see, iTunes here is closed. And you need to hold down the Option key on your Mac or the Alt key on Windows. Hold down the Option key and open up iTunes. Excuse me, iTunes needs your attention. And it's going to say, iTunes needs your attention. Then it's going to say, choose an iTunes library. You can either quit, create a library, or a new library, or choose a library. I've already created one. I'll show you how to do that here shortly. But you go, choose library. Then, from there, you're going to have your normal iTunes library. It's probably going to pop up, and it's going to be this file right here. You don't want that if you're going to choose a new one or a separate one. But here's how you would create your, or choose your iTunes library. I'm going to choose another one that is on my external hard drive. As you can see, this is my external here. And um, I named this file iTunes 1, and here's the actual iTunes library. It's a data file. That is exactly what you want to click on and go ahead and hit open. From there, you'll see I have no music in here because I don't really use this iTunes library for um, music. I just use it for podcast. And that's it. Like here you see a, a Bill Maher podcast. And um, I'm downloading these podcasts currently using a separate iTunes library. Now, I can always close out of this iTunes and open up my original iTunes. The way you do that is I'm going to let this download finish real quick. Two seconds. Okay. So I'll quit and download those later. All right. One thing you need to know when um, selecting a different iTunes library is the next time you go to open up iTunes, it's going to try to open up the previous iTunes library that you opened up. So to open up your original one again, you're going to have to do this process over again. Hold down the option key, open iTunes. Excuse me. Uh and you choose your library. Here's how you create an iTunes library. You just name it where you want to save it as. We'll choose iTunes 2 on my external hard drive. All right, we'll save it. And there it goes. I have a brand new iTunes library with no music, movies, nothing in here. All right. Look, they're all fully functional. You can access the iTunes store. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just a different way you can use it. You can use this for multiple purposes. If you have another program or another user, on, on the same computer you have and you don't really want them seeing your music or your content or maybe it's stuff they don't like and they don't prefer to see, you guys can choose to open up alternate iTunes libraries. It's the same, same thing. They're pretty good. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this tutorial. There's going to be plenty more to come. Subscribe, rate, and most of all, enjoy.